No, no. <laughs> no, I got a problem. I got a real problem. You are the president of the United States, and you have 10 minutes to make a decision that could potentially end the world. What would you do? Today, I will be put through a nuclear war simulation designed to test if an average person could actually do the job of the president. We've hired experts and actors to craft a simulation that mimics what the president would actually go through in the event of an incoming nuclear crisis. We're throwing everything. Oh, did I say nigger before I cursed? Before I said that. Before I said the, her, before I said well the f word. Having limited time, that hey, someone have to make these decisions. It is what it is. <laughs> Michelle is faced with: Can she prevent the incoming nuclear attack? Do you know what you want to do? We are running out of time. She over here acting for cr to cry? I mean, she cry, act, whatever. In just a few Second minutes, time I, I got cal out onto a Each time you curse, five dollar giveaway. <laughs> so I'm going in completely blind. I have no uh, idea what's going to happen. And who's, get, who's getting that five dollars? No is the question. The is, I have no idea what Matt has in store for me in that room. My name is Matthew Parent. I'm the Impact and Outreach Coordinator at the Project on Managing the Atom at the Harvard Kennedy School. This is to simulate the training that a president goes through to handle an incoming nuclear attack. This simulation is going to be stressful. We've designed fictional country Valoria, who's decided nah, to Nah, she's dead living States. like every- Time is gonna be moving quickly. Every she's like- She's more information than life people have. And she's gonna have to thing. make difficult decisions whatever you wanna call she it. probably never thought she would have to make. So the reason that I wanna do this is because so many people say, oh, I could totally do the job of the president. Can an average American citizen who doesn't have a background in politics or government handle the most stressful day at this job? My strategy going in is to arrive at the most peaceful conclusion possible. Everybody lives. If there's any way to do that, I'm going to go with that. Madam President, we believe we are under attack. A few minutes ago, we picked up the signature of multiple ICBMs, possibly two to three hundred warheads coming from silo fields in Valoria. It's unclear what they're targeting, but we believe they're going if to that's the case, just blow them all up in GTA. As far as is estimating that the strike will hit in eight to ten minutes. Uh, oh, okay, so they're, they're targeting the east and and the west coast can we can we vacate the cities what what can what can be not done not enough time ma'am west coast will be hit first approximately five minutes later than the east coast we don't know which cities these are just estimations ma'am but these example blast radiuses should give you an accurate yeah you couldn't be president we're expecting <laughs> <laughs> nah bro they want war give them what they want give them what they want they want beef i why Wait, I'm trying. Nah, I'ma see what they say though. I'ma see what they say though for me to make my my logical decision. For me, San Francisco, Los Angeles. But I'm saying though, we just take out the threat completely. There won't be no threat. Take them all off the map. For me, then we got no more ops. Everything done. San Diego, New York, D.C., and Chicago. And we are expecting. Um... 40 to 60 million American deaths. You said 60 million deaths. It's really... Why are we getting, why are we getting this? Let's be all peaceful and shit. Why are we always at like be beefing, bro? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I will clear that all out. All the lines is getting cleared out. That's it, man. You get shot with him. Tell everybody, can we, <laughs> yes. can we notify the right. It is up Welcome. to you to decide uh, if we warn everyone. Send all them niggas to the gulag. Prepare them for incoming blasts. The pressure wave of a nuclear explosion can shatter glass miles away and injure people that are watching. And GTA. You know, we can send out a nationwide alert as soon as you authorize that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's do now, that. please. Madam President, do you authorize the use of missile defenses? Okay, if we do that, does anyone else get impacted in the process? Like, are we talking like shards flying over the ocean and killing us? It's negligible. Negligible. It would be as if we're shooting a bullet with a bullet. Something is better than nothing, ma'am. Purely defensive. Okay, fine. Yes, yes, yes. Please do this. Yes. We are a go for interceptors. The limited resource that I have at my disposal is time. 
and I can spend it in different ways. The more time that I spend asking questions to get all the information I need, the less effective my decision is by the time it's made. You're uh, attempting to contact the Valorian Prime Minister, but we've yet to receive a response. Excuse me, Madam President, our communications are cutting in and out across America. We believe it's possible a couple of hidden missiles were used in the upper atmosphere to initiate EMP effects. What, what is an EMP? It's an electromagnetic pulse. Valoria is trying to interfere with our communications. Most military technology is hardened against this, but the effects can be widespread and unpredictable. How do we know this isn't, like, a false alarm? Madam President, we are confident an attack is incoming. How, how do we know? When do we know? We have the radar that shows that they're coming from Valoria. Ma'am, I appreciate that you are taking this seriously. We've had false alarms in the past. There is no indication that this is a false alarm. There have been false alarms in the past. During the Cuban Missile Crisis is probably the closest we've come to a nuclear exchange. This is a special report. It looks as though it might be one of armed conflict between Soviet vessels and American warships on the sea lanes leading to Cuba. The Soviet submarine force is the largest in the world. And 35 can fire ICBMs. Never notice this great sea. camera angle. But so you like the so angle? You like this camera angle? Thank you for the thank you for your observation, bro. Is it is it right? Like when I get up. For me, everything, like, I'm really, like, I'm in frame for the most part type shit. So if I want to, ah, 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 you feel me? I want to, damn, 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 damn. I can do that motherfucker, feel me? Word is born. Type shit. I had it over here, feel me? You look tall, even though you're short as fuck and your mom look, I mean, your room looks bigger. Please stop. <laughs> Why y'all doing this to me, bro? What? Why y'all all trying to, like, gang up on me at the same time? Yo, what's up? Yo! <laughs> nah, 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 nah. This is crazy. See what I'm talking about? This shit crazy. Marines, they were cut off from communication. I saw a raid vid. Bro, what? Bro, what vid, bro? Soviet naval assets. Oh, my Vegas God. Under attack. Bro, I'm not even short. First of all, Spring, I'm taller than you, bro. You're ma First, Spring, you're fucking, like, five foot exactly. You're like four, four, eleven. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? It's like, bro, he's be, be saying anything these days, bro. Y'all be saying anything, bro. Fire new like, what are you saying, weapons. bro? A short person can't say and talk about somebody else's short. Like, what? Two you shorter than them? Talk about to fire nuclear weapons. One person decided not to now, fire man. a weapon, and it prevented what likely would have grown into a much larger conflict. So we were saved by the opinion of one person. Ma'am, we've had false alarms in the past, but you should proceed as if it is real until we know otherwise. I'm afraid we need to begin to discussing response options, otherwise we may not have time to respond. Madam President, would you like to hear your response options? Let's hear the options, sure. We have a few different response packages for you to choose from. One option is to launch a small-scale nuclear response targeting Gloria's large population centers. Damn! Destroying a few of their big cities may make Valoria stand down. Attack. Damn. Wait, they wait, you can actually choose to get a, like to get back for real for real. So if I really wanted to, boom! Goes the dynamite. The right. civilian populations is viewed as as a legitimate strategy for a lot of people. This nuclear strategy has only been used purposefully in war once. And it was dropping two bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to target civilians. Another option is a large-scale nuclear response, targeting military assets, launching enough nuclear weapons in hopes of entirely eliminating their ability to fight back. Oh, I'm doing that one. I'm doing that one. Even when targeting military assets, you will still inevitably hit major cities. If you try to totally degrade an enemy military, in doing so, you'd also kill tens of millions of civilians. In the United States, a great example of this is like a city like San Diego, where we have huge amounts of military assets in otherwise very populous cities. You can't divorce the military personnel from the civilian personnel. Both are gonna be caught in the wake of this. Millions of innocent people are going to die no matter what. So Michelle and any president that's put in this position has to guess what will cause an adversary to stop. 
what, what numbers of casualties are we looking at for each of these options? On a small scale, 20 to 50 million civilian. Million. Million. He said nuke everyone. In Valoria. On a large scale, 100 to 150 million. If you decide to target <laughs> population center, we can advise you on which. He said his brain is cooked. Target. But, but, but by that logic, then we're killing innocent civilians to make a statement. It's defending our own country. They attacked us. Well, their government attacked us. I mean. But just know that if you target only population centers, you'll kill fewer people overall, but you still leave Valoria with the means to attack us militarily. I, I, listen, and here's the thing I would urge. Nah, blow the military shit up. The, the second option was way better. Centers because there's going to be major geopolitical ramifications for that. And Valoria has no shortage of allies at all, many of which have their own nuclear capabilities. It'll leave their military intact to respond with a second or third wave. Of nuclear. Yes. Their military is very spread out. It would have to be large scale if you want to stop their military. With a decision this big, it is so important to have a variety of different opinions and perspectives in the room. However, under this time pressure, hearing all of those different opinions is extremely overwhelming. Each advisor has their own unique perspective, and they oftentimes don't align. Not everyone in government has the same beliefs. Ultimately, the president will have to make this difficult decision. This is not something where there's veto power, but that doesn't necessarily mean the person is going to make a good decision, if that even exists. We're being asked to kill more people to stop more people from dying? Correct. Seriously? This is the only option? It is not. You could also choose not to use nuclear weapons at all, and instead attack with our conventional weapons. So what is the difference between a nuclear response and a conventional response? What, is, what does conventional mean? Non-nuclear weapons, jet fighters, tanks, infantry. Deploying a conventional response also means putting that thousands sounds like a lot of American of... service men and women in harm's way. It will not be a nuclear response. It will not kill hundreds of millions. It'll leave their military intact to respond with a second or third wave. Madam President. You could choose. Nah, to bro, just blow up the military people shit. Back at all. <laughs> Either choice allows us to appeal to the rest of the world and ask them to pressure Valoria into seizing an attack. You will give us more room to negotiate peace. No response Man, is dead crazy. I ain't gonna lie. We'll still I ain't gonna lie. No response is dead crazy. Cause like. They, they're now they gonna look at you like, oh, like you really not on that. You feel me? Now they gonna take advantage. You feel what I'm saying? Hell no. Nah. They gonna really try to like, really, you feel me? Nah. Sometimes no response is always, no response is a response. You feel what I'm saying? That's deep right there. I'm telling y'all something. Listen to what I'm saying for real. You feel me? We'll die. In all due respect, <laughs> Secretary, not responding <laughs> is not an option. With no response, our military will be crippled. What kind of future are we going to have? But we don't even know that if we counterattack with nuclear missiles that that they will stop. Correct. But they, they are could. more likely to than if we do nothing. We feel like right. a, a strong response. It's escalate to de-escalate. And these are our only options. There are no easy options. In front of Michelle here, we have a big red button. That does not exist in real life. For us, it represents the decision she has to make. How do you respond to a nuclear threat? Okay, Madam President, I believe this is the ambassador from Valoria on the phone. It's about time. Go ahead, pick it up. Hello. Good evening, Madam President. I understand there's some urgency to your desire to speak with me. What's going on? I'm sorry. Our radar has detected a ton of nuclear missiles incoming to the both in east and west coast. Can you tell me if this is real or not? Madam President, I am unaware of any such action. There must be some mistake or, or perhaps a malfunction with your detection system. Hey, could you start back at the beginning and explain to me what you think is going on? He's saying he didn't say. He knows what he's doing. He's just trying to stall yeah, so you yeah. don't send any more he's missiles not, to him. He's not going to help. So he's just, you're lying to me? Valoria values its relationship with the United States. I have no knowledge of any such Oh, no. Nah. Let us work together. The manipulation. Oh, my God. It's getting serious. Together to uncover the truth behind this alarming situation. How do we, how do I know if this person is lying to me or not? It's because we know that they sent the war. Yes. Hello, I am Madam President. You need to do what's best for the country. Stand by. 
they had someone call to stall just now? Yeah, uh, at this point, they just want to limit our response as much as possible and confuse us as much as they can. Excuse me, things have changed. Our military assets in the Pacific have been hit at sea by short-range missiles. And we believe... Yeah, bro, I'm blowing them up, bro. Active combat. I'm blowing them up, bro. They're all getting packed. Our communications are still not 100%, so details are still fuzzy. But there's... Then they go to the yo! Bang, 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 bang! On the back, on the up! Real shit! How, how does this impact our nuclear response? We can still attack to use nuclear weapons. At this point, it's just... Nah, this nigga Oreo's crazy! <laughs> lives will be lost. This nigga's crazy! What the fuck? It might be impossible to watch this simulation and imagine yourself arriving at these remaining two options as I have. And what I ultimately ended up doing was wasting time that backed me into a corner. It really is a situation where there are no good options at all. So you're telling me we're 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 talking about like like a like a like a like everyone's like everyone's dying. It could be potential World War Three, ma'am. Yes. But like what what does it mean that like we're we're just sitting here? Yes, and we need to make a decision immediately. Are there any other options to consider? No, Ma'am, I urge us to launch our 500 silo-based warheads immediately. Of our 13 nuclear submarines, only five are at sea and within striking range. But they'll likely take out their remaining silo fields if we transmit the order now. How many casualties have we had so far? It's In less million. than five minutes, it's going to be millions. And that's why we need to decide now. Madam President, we do need an answer. Ma'am, the silos are ready to launch. Bombers and subs are on standby. I need an authorization to launch. Madam President. Um. Yeah, we're, we're like sure this is happening. This is happening. And we need to get you on Air Force One and up in the air. My Air Force Ones, bitch. I don't know what else. What? What? What does anyone do? Tighten up. It's a terrible decision. Can it? Have to make. I wish it was. Yeah, she a W <laughs> actor. I just get to go in Air Force One and fly off to a bunker. You have to. We need an active commander in chief to be able to make appropriate decisions for this conflict, ma'am. You are our commander in chief. You can do I don't this. feel like it right now. <laughs> Stand by. One minute remaining, ma'am. <laughs> it just it feels so wrong. It feels so She said I'm cringing. Bro! Oh, oh, I thought that was I thought that was okay, Buzz who said that. I'm about to say, bro, answer. we cringe looking at your what picture. Answer, Buzz has got a unnecessary strangers now, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> large scale. I have a go for large scale nuclear. Alpha, Bravo, Victor, Bravo, Romeo. Finn go shoot you right, right. Madam President, sailors are ready to launch. Need an authorization to launch. That looked like Bokum. I don't. I don't know what that is. Bokeem Woodbine. I don't know what that is, my brother. I mean, who that is? I mean, I probably know who that is if I see their face. Actually. Uh, I don't be knowing names. I need the beast brought around immediately. That's it. Madam President. Oh! We need to move. Oh, the, the dude that, I, that I, bro, I swear that's, that's, um, so, he's related to, uh, Dave, Dave, uh, Dave Chappelle. Ain't no way. Like, <laughs> ain't no way, bro. Test subjects. 
from all different backgrounds, both female and male, and nearly every test subject made a similar choice. And this made me wonder if there even was a right choice at all. Hi. Hi. I'm not happy with you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about having just killed a couple hundred million people? I don't think <laughs> now, what kind of question is that? I don't. Maybe I should have done a small scale nuclear. I don't know what anybody does in that. One of the options was bomb innocent civilians to make a statement. Shouldn't be an option. Do you think any of the options sounded like winning? No, not a single option was felt winning, in my opinion. You know, you feel like you chose the wrong thing, maybe after the fact, but I think, you know, hopefully you see there, there really is no good answer. <laughs> there really isn't. In the world today, it's always unlikely that nuclear war is gonna break out. We don't necessarily know a good reason why a country would use nuclear weapons. An eye for an eye, doesn't necessarily work when we're counting the dead in millions. Yeah, I'm not running for office anytime soon, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and the reality is... Presidential election year 2024 almost upon us. The race for the White House shifts into high gear this month. It's expected to be one of the most consequential elections of a generation. Anyone can be the president of the United States. We would hope the president to know the consequences of these weapons. These weapons vary existence. Amen threatens humanity listen, in a way that very few things listen my whole thing is bro you try to get at me i'm gonna get at you but 10 times harder for me you want to threaten me with a bomb with nukes and gta oh yeah oh yeah nigga i'm taking you off the globe my brother you're gone off the map you're not even gonna know who you is no more you're done you're done you wouldn't even be in history books that's how far you will get wiped out the planet